On Monday, May 11th, the Hillers softball squad welcomed in Millis. The Hillers offense wasn't so welcoming to the Millis pitching staff. Potential bunt attempt. And this is hit in the air to shallow right field. Running in, not able to get there. In time is Ginden. One run scores, two runs will score. So Katewell Zell advances the second on the throw in. It's a two RBI hit. Doubles and two triples and a home run. This is on the ground, first base side. It is gloved by the first baseman. She'll step on a bag, but the run will score. As Kayla Sullivan comes around on the RBI sacrifice ground out. It's three to nothing Hillers. Malowitz to the set. This is hit. A liner in a center field. That'll drop down and another Hillers run will score. Those were the four runs in the bottom of the first. The Hillers added two more in the second and two more in the third to make it eight to nothing. The game was broken wide open in the fourth. Line deals. And this is a liner, and that'll drop into left field for a hit. The run will be waved around. The throw will not be in time. It's 9-0 Hillers. To the set. And there's a strike. Rabley thought about taking off. She's caught in a bit of a pickle. The throw to first is going to be thrown home, but not before Jenna Bogan comes around to score. So the... Diversion works. Line to the set. Liner shot into center field, drops in, and a run will score. 11-0 Hillers. A 12-0 Mercy victory. The game lasted five plus innings before the 12th run came around. Hillers 12 and one on the season. Uh, one of the concerns as a coach, especially after games like the Bellingham game last week, and not only the, only the Bellingham game, we had a tough week. Um, with three close games, you worry about letdowns. Uh, and we talked about the girls not letting that happen today. You know, um, not finding ourselves in a close game in the fourth or fifth inning, taking care of business. We, we challenge the girls to really just play against themselves. Don't worry about what the other team is doing. If we show up and we play our game, this is what should happen against a team like that. Hillers softball taking on Medway. The Hillers led 6-0 heading into the bottom of the fourth. After, it would be a lot more of a lead not mean a relief pitcher isn't coming in soon. And that is ball four, that'll walk in a run. Ingstrom comes around to score. It's a seven nothing Hopkinton lead. Higgins delivers. This is hit in the air towards the fence in left field, back towards the fence. And it is off the glove. And that is going to be a home run, a grand slam. Katewell Zell goes yard and clears the bases. A grand slam home run. It's 11 0 Hopkinton. With Jenna Bogan at the plate. Still no outs. And this is hit in the air to right field, and that's gone. A solo shot for Jenna Bogan, and it's a home run derby for the Hillers. Hugh delivers, and this is a slicer up the middle of the infield. That gets through, Hume will score. It's 13-0 Hillers with bases loaded. To the set, and a slicer in the right field. That drops in, one run in to score, and the bases stay loaded. And deals on the ground, past the, die, the glove of the third baseman, and another run around to score. McHugh delivers, hit in the air towards left field and it is caught. Runner will tag and score. This RBI sacrifice fly out for Will Zell. Holly Mitchell in the score, the 16 pillars run. The Hillers improve to 13 and one as they get the 16 to nothing five inning mercy victory. Juliet Hume pitches a no hitter. Kate Wellzell goes three for three with a grand slam, seven RBIs and three runs. I have to ask, uh, obviously Alyssa Cargill left this season. Juliet Hume took over the starting role and she's been extremely dominant. I know you expected that she was going to be good, but did you expect her to be this good? 
it's hard to expect anybody to be this good, especially seniors. Um, you know, in theory, seniors are the oldest. Uh, they're they're probably the strongest. They should be the best players. But in this spring sport, it it can be um, dicey sometimes. College is on the horizon. The weather is nice. Graduation is coming. So there have been times in the past where Coach Soderberg and I have had a lot of seniors on a team, and we really felt that we didn't live up to our potential. So although you assume that they're going to play well, until you see it in action, um, you're never convinced. And I'm certainly never convinced. I always have it in the back of my mind that things could go wrong. But as soon as she showed up and was able to play this year, um, she's been dominant from the first inning right through today. Um, so she, she's done a great job focusing on the mound and doing what she's had to do to really prove herself.